for me it's like a miracle wh- how biggest became this new wave and this cinema because otherwise we had <laughs> before some uh, 10 years ago a good football team we had gymnastic team even that one it's down now it's it's only cinema now and it's in literature or pic- paintings or there is something but nothing comparable with the film like like uh, state in, in the world like the how, how high level uh, but in in Romania this is very sad because they don't give a shit to, to they okay they are helping because but actually they don't all the time it's a fighting with the system and to to find money and and it should be just because it's maybe the only thing that we we can present that you are very good now and we are less and less because maybe this label it's uh, not helping and, and yeah it, it happened something only with the film and for me it's like a miracle because especially when it was this beginning of the new wave and from 2000 2005 2006 we produced like i don't know 10 films per year and two or three was big big films like porumboyu puyu munjiu and it's it's uh, impossible in a, to from i don't know from 10 films to have such a good such a great success so i don't know how so yeah sometimes it's happening but it's not a fermentation of um, cultural things it's yeah and we don't have a uh, cinema network like for instance art house cinema is, is we don't have for instance in budapest it was like 40 art house cinemas small or bigger or smaller but art house just for this kind of films we don't have at all and okay in budapest now it's only because of the crisis and everything it's only 15 but in bucharest is no one we have a cinematic but every town has a cinematic and that's all and it's not only for romanian films but for italian films like uh, framantino patro it's impossible to see it in a cinema or yeah maybe in some festivals but to be distributed no, no on, on dvd it's very expensive and uh, finally if you want to see it maybe you are looking on internet torrents you know yeah, yeah. but it's oh, very hard even now in 2011 to 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 see films from Ital- Italian films not I'm not speaking about Japan or yeah, yeah. South Korean uh, that it's yeah Mi zvuk ko a chisan tu da Tata Tata Mi scuza ma non sono posso aggiungo un problema con mamma de sanità e stress plegna per la casa Accidente minore se întâmplă, drag Alex, nu e mare lucru. Nu, nu, îl las cu draga Alex, pentru mine nu Iată, e minor, este major. Hai, nu s-a întâmplat nimic greu. Nu știu, mamă. Ce? De ce nu vrei să vorbești cu mine la telefon când venem pe tren? Și o țineți pe mama cu super perfuziile alea, așa, ca să văd eu ce drăguț sunteți. Dar ce credeți, că-s prost? Alex, te exagerez, Alex. Ce, Alex? Mereți liniștit că am eu grijă. Super, mulțumesc. Adică, mă rog, nu-i super, e... seven when uh, it was finished my first long feature and I met this French producer Marie Pierre Massi and Juliette Le Poutre and uh, I presented two synopsis of I work on another story that, that actually I will shoot in November now will be the I hope the third the third long feature and I present the both synopsis and probably because also uh, she with 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 shit happened something similar and was very touched by subject and she said Adrian let's go on this subject is very good and so yeah i i yeah i i avoid at the at the beginning maybe the to do this story because and it was very tough at the beginning when 
I wrote the treatment and I tried to remember everything and to rethink about what it happened. It was yeah, very emotional and tough because usually we are trying to, to, to hide and to, to escape from bad memories. I arrived to, to see the, the f what happened from a light point of view. That means I saw all the absurd things that happened, all stupid behavior, my behavior, stupid behavior, the other, how we interacted, and I saw the, 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 the humor or the, what, what was funny in all this interaction, because yeah, everywhere, even in the worst situation, sometimes it's funny what is happening and how the people are, are behaving and I, I, I try to follow this instinct to be very light or to, to, to put the humor in all this finally sad and dramatic story that it, even if the mother is not dying it's about dying and disappearance and something that will happen some, some time and yeah I, I try to follow this mixture between humor and drama and actually I didn't invent too much for this humor I just uh, stayed sometimes with my girlfriend and discussing how I believe and we love together and it was, it's um, of course in that that days it was ve I was very down and sad and I didn't see any anything funny but after all I when I watch the situation how how it's possible to behave like this and oh, you remember that woman what she's sinking in the saloon and I saw that saloon that actually and this is a prejudice to go if you are going in a hospital to see the sick people and they are all like dying and it's not like this and especially in, in this saloon when the, uh, the people has something with the brain and probably they said they took not sedatives this kind of pills to be more happy or relaxed it was like, uh, I don't know, a joyful <laughs> every day and for me it was screw my mind what's happening here that, because they are not crazy, it's not like you know, crazy people but happy, happiness and thinking and very high spirits and, 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 and it was a surprise and I keep this because in a way this maybe uh, be, be, became for me weird it, it, it was very weird and I, be, I behave and I be became more and more paranoid or what is happening here and even if you don't realize in that moment but I don't know unconsciously it's working yeah it, all these small details it's working somehow and it's, um, yeah I hope to, to, to be learn something from all this experience to, to not be so stupid next time and but I'm not sure <laughs> like Actually, like usually, I worked. Uh, I, I'm working very. I rehearse very much with the actors, and we sp all the time I'm speaking about psychology of the character, but also all the time that about the subtext of what they are saying, why why they are saying, and what they are thinking when they are saying, and thing like this. Of course, they are very good actors because it's not working with uh, not uh, a good actor, but. Uh, it was maybe it was a bit uh, harder because yeah with Alex because Alex is me but in a way I was lucky that I found this actor that in real life maybe it, it uh, has the same personality with me so it, for him actually it was more easier to to understand my behavior or what's happening with Alex in the film because not everybody so anxious or so it's sometimes it's hard for people to understand why is doing so stupid things so for him it was easy to to accept and with the others it was much easier because i just tell them about my friends when i'll to the delias about delias character and in a way i didn't need to invent something or a character i just told them we who they were Look, because, yeah. in this situation, my friend is doing like this and like this because it's like this. I know uh, it, it, it was easier in a way, and for them, it, I think it was uh, good to, to follow a real person somehow. For a director, it's it's interesting because I saw many, 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 many times editing and then doing the the sound. 
and uh, when my mother saw the first cut and it was crying and it was very tough and but it's true that yesterday it was very touch. I don't know why, because it was a big, not because it's Locarno. I, probably I saw the first time on the big screen, uh, really big screen with people around me and uh, in the dark, and I was really touched at the end. And I was surprised by myself because, yeah, I saw it so many times that I, I supposed to be bored, not. Uh, but it happened something. Yeah, it's, it's still. I think I'm hiding something from this experience and time to time when I'm relaxed or I want to, to understand what is happening uh, when and I'm open my mind, I open my these doors. Actually the hospital was split in two. It was the corridors and the exterior was a real hospital but the saloon we built in a set. Why? Because with this point of views in a real location, we need to put the camera sometimes like behind the wall. That means a little bit in that sense when, for instance, when Alex is speaking with the mother and it's a close up, it, from a, in a real location, it's impossible putting the camera in you know, just in the bed to, to be, it, it would have been something fake or not working. So actually we remove the wall and we put a little bit back the camera and to look. So everything what is in saloon, it, it's in the set. Maybe it's more clear. When, when I shoot waves, it's, it happened something similar, but it was a tough experience. We shot the, uh, the Black Sea and we had some problems with production and with the weather and my DP and everybody said, stop the shootings if we don't have and this and this. And I took this decision to not stop the shooting only when, if it's stopping because of the rain or uh, I will stop. And it was maybe more, for me, was more than one mi miracle. And the film was not only a, what was a handicap a child that was awarded. And it was like, I don't know, it happened after with this experience to feel that so I, I felt something mystical. It happened something similar here because I was very alone in all this experience with my mother. I felt that I actually, at the end, I felt like hell because I, I, useless, helpless. Mm -hmm. Even if you are trying the best, sometimes you are doing worse than nothing. So it's better to just to stay. Or I felt very alone and useless, helpless. But at the same time, I felt, I don't know, like something that was with me and in a way was kind of luck for my mother or you stayed and follow me like I don't know what what was but it was a feeling of something and this was I want to put in the film with this uh, non-human movement of camera at the beginning at the end of the film or where Alex is alone in the in the room and uh, yeah probably I'm <laughs> even if I'm saying I'm not probably I'm kind of mystical person, more or less. Even in the first film, I don't know if you saw it, in Hooked, it's something at the end that you don't know who is the, the, the last POV. Everybody uh, has been uh, talking about this Romanian uh, new way mm -hmm. uh, for a few years now. Yeah. What do you think about this? It's a label uh, that it disturbs you, or do you think there is really a uh, Romanian new wave for cinema? Uh, in a way, it's a wave. It's not disturbing only me, but it's disturbing everybody because when you have a label, and especially a very high level of the label, you have to keep the level mm -hmm. of the label, and it's not easy and. Sometimes it's like a fashion, so after almost 10 years, I think the people are a bit bored of this label and they want to see something else from the this kind of Romanian style. And personally, I don't like to... I like Cristi Puyo and a lot of Romanian films, but I'm not trying to do films like The New Wave. I'm not trying to do films like Jarmuș, even if I like it. I'm trying to do my... Your own vision of the film, but of course I'm influenced by everything. Romanian waves, but also 
maybe American films or I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but it, it is something, of course. It was another, but n we we never meet, have a meeting and spoke. Let's do a film with. It was this kind of to happen in one day from the beginning, or, or to not use music like soundtrack in films, or to I don't know. But it, it was a kind of rules that everybody liked and follow somehow since from the first film of Christy Puyo, mm -hmm. I think, it began a kind of style or uh, that everybody was influenced. influenced. <laughs>